Hey guys, so today we're doing another episode of Mopar News, but with a twist. It's all about the Ram trucks today. So with the launch of the 2022 Ram 1500 coming at the end of July, I thought I'd give some more information on a few different models, packages, and trim levels that are new for the upcoming few years, including the Mopar 21, GT package, the future 2024 Ram 1500 electric truck, and the Italian luxury truck, the Milta Magnum. We'll cover all the unique features, additions, and prices for each of them. So let's get started. First, just to give an idea of what these Rams are adding on to the current lineups, I also probably will do a buying guide in the future, but as we can see on screen, the Ram 1500 begins with the Tradesman at 32,795, and there are eight various trim levels, including the top of the line TRX, which has the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 from the Hellcat, and that one has a price tag starting at 70,425. In case you prefer the past styling, Ram still offers the 1500 Classic in Tradesman, Express, and Warlock form. Okay, so first up we've got the newest Mopar Edition vehicle, this time the Mopar 21 Ram 1500 truck. Mopar has been producing one limited edition vehicle since 2010, beginning with the Challenger, and released annually ever since. These all feature custom paint and have many Mopar performance and cosmetic modifications that separate them from the regular vehicles, and they were all produced in very limited quantities. For example, Mopar is building just 250 units of these for the US and another 40 for Canada. Customers can choose four paint colors including billet silver, bright white, flame red, and hydro blue. This is the second Mopar edition after the Mopar 16 Rebel, and this year's version is based on the Ram 1500 Bighorn slash Lone Star Crew Cab 4x4, and it adds $8,500 US to the price. The added features include a sport performance hood, 20 by 9 inch black painted polished aluminum wheels, dark taillights and headlights, body colored bumpers, door handles and fender flares, and gloss black mirror caps, grille surround, exhaust tips, and exterior badges. Mopar also added some options from the factory, like running boards, a spray and bed liner, side sills, and more shown on screen. As for what makes the Mopar 21 even more unique, it also has black exterior decals, premium cloth seats that feature diesel gray stitching and an embroidered Mopar logo, the serialized Mopar 21 instrument panel with your own build sequence number, and an owner's kit. Powering this Ram is the 5.7 Hemi V8 with 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque and paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Next up is the 2022 GT package, which adds a lot of sporty and performance features to the Sport, Rebel, and Laramie models. On screen you'll see the red truck is the Laramie GT and the black truck is the Rebel GT. There aren't too many details as of yet, like pricing for example is still unknown, but one of the main additions is the center console mounted shifter from the TRX, which effectively removes the rotary dial shift knob that many Ram owners just weren't a fan of. This also adds paddle shifters, along with a leather wrapped steering wheel, memory seats, mirrors and pedals, LED footwell and rear door accent lighting, and GT decals and interior theme. The performance is improved with a Mopar cold air intake, exhaust, and a 3.92 rear axle ratio. Next up we have a 10th anniversary special edition for the 2022 limited models. That limited trim level was first released in 2012 as Ram's most premium and luxurious trim level, and today it's still one of the most luxurious trucks on the market, with a huge price tag of $60,175, or over $83,000 Canadian. On the exterior, this 10th anniversary edition adds the multi-function tailgate with a 60-40 split barn door style, a Mopar center mounted deployable bed step, and an exclusive new color called Blue Shade. Inside, the cabin is full of real wood, metal, and leather details. There's a new suede headliner, exclusive quilted leather wrap seats and door inserts, rear ventilated seats, a new indigo and sea salt gray interior color, aluminum litho bezels, and a Mopar Bright pedal kit. There's also a 19 speaker Harman Kardon system with 900 watts. As for the special 10th anniversary stuff, there's a center console badge, a special 10th anniversary cluster theme, and an exclusive jeweled rotary shifter knob. Finally, this 10th anniversary edition only comes in crew cab form with either the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 or the 3 liter Eco Diesel V6. We should expect to see these trucks at dealerships by September or October. The next additional model for 2022 is going to be the Backcountry, available in quad cab or crew cab 4x4 configuration and offered on the Bighorn and Lone Star editions. 
This isn't quite as expensive as the 10th anniversary with a price tag starting around $40,000 US or $63,000 Canadian. This truck has the perfect mix of style, performance, and off-road capability. It features lots of black accents like headlight bezels, exterior mirrors, grille, badging, front and rear bumpers, exhaust tips, and lower two-tone paint. The black theme continues inside with power eight-way adjustable driver's seats and backcountry instrument panel badges. As for off-roading, the 4x4 off-road group comes standard with 18x8-inch black painted aluminum wheels with Falcon Wild Peak tires, a 1-inch raised height, heavy-duty calibrated shocks, skid plates, off-road pages, and an electronic locking rear differential. The only engines available here are the 5.7-liter Hemi V8 or the 5.7 with the e-torque mild hybrid system. Both engines deliver 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. Next is something from the future of Ram, as shown at the 2021 Stellantis EV Day on July 8th. Ram brand CEO Mike Koval explained that Ram is built to serve, with a promise to serve the next-gen of Ram customers with next-gen products. He said that truck customers are open to electrification, but they're not willing to sacrifice power, performance, or capability. So Ram wants to offer them a full portfolio of Ram e-technology. Details are still quite vague at this point, but we do know that Ram will begin production on a Ram 1500 full-size battery electric vehicle in 2024, and they will have a fully electrified portfolio by 2030. Again, we don't know much more than that, but we do know that Stellantis will have four dedicated new platforms that you can see on screen. So the Stella frame is tailored for medium to large size body on frame vehicles like pickup and full size SUVs. So that's likely what the Rams will be riding on. There are different battery sizes for each platform with various kilowatt hours. So there's 500 on the large and frame. Also mentioned was a new solution for trucks on top of the battery electric vehicle. Stellantis said it was confidential at the moment, but that it would be a range electric paradigm breaker. It was created to remove range anxiety for things like towing and give range at the level of a traditional powertrain with no compromise on the payload and cargo volume. So within five or so years, truck customers should have these two choices, battery electric or the new confidential one. The final newsworthy piece of RAM information today comes from overseas on the Italian market. It's called the Militum Magnum, an odd truck to say the least. But anyways, Militum is an Italian tuning company that's founded in 2017 by Cav Auto in Monza, Italy. Cav Auto is an importer slash dealer that has specialized in American vehicles since the 1980s. This company has introduced two cars over the last two years, the Hero and Ferox, based on the Jeep Renegade and Wrangler. This time, Militum took a Ram 1500 Laramie Sport and Italianized it, built according to their motto, quote, American tech, Italian made, end quote. It's designed to be the alternative to the traditional luxury SUVs, and each truck apparently takes 200 man hours to build. For this one, I want to start from the inside out, as the Magnum has over 30 square feet of handcrafted leather with embroidery, 1,000 meters of stitching, and 14 different color combinations. It's also got the 12 inch Uconnect display, Harman Kardon audio system, panoramic sunroof, and lots of safety features like an anti collision system lane departure system, assisted braking, parking aid system, and 360 degree view camera. Moving back to the outside, there's a pretty sweet new front grille, some new LED headlights, a black painted dual exhaust, 20 inch black edition alloy wheels, and 35 inch R20 all-terrain Cooper tires that are 315 millimeters wide. Militum has developed a motorized tonneau cover for the cargo bed, and they've replaced some exterior body pieces with carbon fiber ones. They've also added an extreme performance lift kit, which is a pneumatic air suspension that electronically adjusts to five different levels. Disappointingly, performance is the one thing that really wasn't touched, as the Magnum is powered by the mild hybrid 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with e-torque, the 8-speed automatic transmission, and four-wheel drive. Finally, the Magnum is available in just four colors, diamond black, flame red, billet silver, and granite crystal. You do get a warranty of three years or 100,000 kilometers, and the truck starts at the sky-high price of 88,880 euros, or around $105,000 US. So that's the end of this video, guys. A whole lot of new info on the 2021, 2022, and beyond Ram trucks. What do you guys think? Anything stand out to you, and which ones were your favorite? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.